The purpose of this very short video is to show how to install and run OpenSCAP on Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8. The process is simple. Execute these three commands. yum install openSCAP-scanner, yum install SCAP-workbench, and yum install SCAP-security-guide. Once you've installed OpenSCAP, the process to run it is very simple. Bring up a Linux terminal window and type SCAP-workbench. When the workbench loads, it'll prompt you for what type of machine you're attempting to analyze. So in this example, I'm going to choose RHEL 8. Once the workbench is up and running, you have a, a series of different profiles you can select. For example, if you're doing something that requires HIPAA type of configuration, you can, you can select Health Insurance, Portability, and Accountability Act. If you need to configure your Linux machine to follow the DISA STIG guidelines, select DISA STIG. So for this example, I'm going to select DISA STIG. Now, once you have selected it, in order to run OpenSCAP, simply click on the Scan button, and it will go out and actually download the DISA STIG requirements, and it's going to take your machine and analyze them against all of the rules that are defined. So in this case, you can see that there are 249 different rules that the DISA STIG profile goes out and checks against. And it takes a few minutes to run this as it, as it analyzes your machine and checks all of the different requirements that are defined with DISA STIG. I'm going to wait until this finishes and come back at that point in time. Now that the workbench is finished, let's take a look at what it actually creates. If we expand the screen a little bit, you'll see that it actually creates a report of everything that has passed or failed according to the requirements for this particular profile. We can actually do one of two things with these requirements. We can, we can look at them, analyze them directly, and come up with a plan on how you remediate it, or you can just let OpenSCAP do it for you. And in this case, OpenSCAP has three different options for remediation. Let's select the one that says Ansible. So with the Ansible remediation option, we have the ability to generate a remediation script or an Ansible playbook. It's really that simple. If we go out, we create the playbook. Let's go ahead and close the workbench. And let's take a look at what's created. So in this example, you can see the playbook is actually pretty long. If we go to the bottom, we see that the playbook is 6,000 lines long. And, and what the playbook does is it creates a task for every single one of the areas where the workbench found a failure, according to the profile. Then, of course, to run this particular playbook, we would simply say Ansible Playbook and give it the name of the file, and boom, that's all you gotta do. Now I'll warn you, you may want to back up your system. If you're just experimenting with OpenSCAP Workbench, you may wanna back up your system before you do anything, because the minute you apply this playbook, it's gonna harden the system, and most likely change a lot of things that you weren't expecting. So that's it, it's as simple as creating that playbook by running the OpenSCAP Workbench. If you'd like to learn more about OpenSCAP, please visit www.openscap.org. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.